I'm going to help get some sticks. Good. We need more sticks, too. I have a lighter in my pocket if you need one. Yes. You can get it out. I hope I have a lighter. You can use the lighter to start the fire. He may look like a chimpanzee, but Kanzi is a bonobo. A closely related species from the forested Congo region of Central Africa. Bonobos are highly intelligent and physically similar to human ancestors, whose remains are found in this cradle of mankind, the Great Rift Valley of East Africa. In the mid-70s, a three-and-a-half-million-year-old human skeleton was discovered in the Rift Valley. She was named Lucy for the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which happened to be on the radio at the time. The hominid Lucy and bonobos like Kanzi share a remarkable number of features. Their limb proportions and the way in which they walk are similar. Which returns us to Kanzi the bonobo who shares features with our own human ancestors. Working with Kanzi sheds light on our evolutionary path out of ancient East Africa to the full global sweep of the whole modern world. Georgia State University's Language Research Center, Kanzi's home, is set among 50 wooded acres just 20 minutes from downtown Atlanta. Researchers here study language development in human children by comparing it with... Georgia State University's Language Research Center, Kansas home, is set among 50 wooded acres just 20 minutes from downtown Atlanta. Researchers here study language development in human children by comparing it with language development in our close relatives, apes. Kenzie, working on word tests with Dr. Rose Sevchik. Let's listen some more. Turn this way. Yes, very good. Kenzie is distinguishing spoken words. First, the researcher says a word. Balloon. Balloon, yes. To answer, Kanzi presses a picture symbol, which triggers an electronic voice. These 256 symbols bear no visual resemblance to test words, which include adjectives, verbs, even wishes and emotions. Potato. The board includes abstracts like good and bad. Some human adults working with Kanzi have taken a year to memorize these symbols and master the board. House. Rock. Rock. Good, Kanzi. Kanzi. Chicken. 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 That's right. Thank you, Kanzi. Kanzi. Hot dog. Hot dog.
Dr. Sue Savage Rumba is one of several people who care for Kenzie at the Language Research Center. They often prepare their meals together. Here's some cheese. You put that in your tummy. This is going to be for a hot food. Okay. I want you to go put the onions in your hot food. I got the onions in a bowl. Let's go put them in our hot food and we'll come back and turn the TV on. Get your onions right here and put them in your bowl. Look, you spilled some of them. Savage Rumbau has monitored Kenzie's language development since soon after his birth, 13 years ago. Put some water in the pan for our noodles. More water. More water. All right, your noodles are going to go in here, and you can have a few of them for your tummy. Kenzie, could you turn the water off again, please? Turn the water off, please. How did bonobo evolution get here, from here? Bonobos and chimpanzees live in Central Africa. But whereas chimpanzees range from rainforest to dry savanna, bonobos are restricted to dense jungle, virtually encircled by the arcuate course of the Congo River. Central Africa, bonobo country, undisturbed so far by man. smaller than chimpanzees and very gentle. Together, bonobos and chimpanzees are human beings' closest living relatives. Research into chimpanzees' language acquisition began years ago. Vicky, do this. Do this, Vicky. Do this. No, no, do this. That's fine. In 1947, American psychologists Keith and Catherine Hayes began teaching human speech to a young chimpanzee called Vicky. You see what this is? But after six years, Vicky could only produce barely intelligible renditions of Mama, Papa, and Cup. In 1966, a scientific team used American Sign Language as a way of overcoming apes' inability to vocalize. One chimpanzee learned 85 different signs, which greatly impressed researchers at the time. But in 1979, a scientific paper took issue with the results of the sign language method. The paper's author, Dr. Herbert Terrace of Columbia University. What I saw was that the chimp was more or less mirroring or shadowing the teacher signing. That the teacher would sign something to Nim and Nim would um, feed it back either the same sign or related sign or throw in a few general purpose signs. Terrace reached his conclusion after analyzing sign language used by his own research subject, Nim. Discouraged, attempts to teach language to apes waned for a while. However, researchers at Georgia State pressed on. Austin's getting ready, Shelley. Dr. Savage Rumbaugh tried a method whereby apes could not imitate humans. Wearing headphones, the subject responds to a hidden questioner by selecting the appropriate photograph. Austin, find the apple. Give it to Sue. He gave me kiwi, Shelly. Shelly says no. Wait, just wait. Just leave these there. Find the snake. The snake. wrong again. All right, 
Austin, I need to listen through your headphones and see what it is. Austin has difficulty with headphones, but what if he can see the speaker? Austin, snake, snake. Very nice, Austin. Very nice. Find the apple. The apple. Once more with headphones, and once again, wrong. No. All right. Let let me have your headphones and let me listen to Shelley. Now, what happens when Austin hears the question face to face? Apple, apple, apple. Very nice, Austin. In the end, the results of similar tests with Austin proved inconclusive. Then there's Kenzie. Does he really understand what he hears? Kanzi